Everybody go, woo! 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 All right, let's get this thing rolling. So what if we said you can lose 10 pounds in nine weeks? <laughs> what if we said you can lose two and a half inches? Have more energy. Eat healthier. Become stronger. Get off medication. What we're going to do for you guys throughout this program, okay? <laughs> What's the catch? I didn't hear anybody that time. What's the catch? Come on, you got the free, you got the email about the free weight loss program, all that kind of stuff? Show up. You show up, you will do better. I promise you. We did a, a, a pilot study in the first session. The people that came to all the sessions fared a lot better than people who came to two, three, or five, okay? The more you came to, the better you came to. All of them, you did the best. I know it's a nine-week program. I know it can be difficult. I know you have other commitments. But if you show up, it makes a huge, huge difference. One other thing that we're doing to help combat this, I'll talk about it earlier, is you see back there in the bag, we're videotaping all these sessions to put them online for you, OK? Please do not just not come to look at it online, all right? Because once again, being here and having the group support makes a huge difference. Just making that personal commitment to get up and come uh, it reinforces your commitment to continue working out and eat, to, and to eat healthy, etc. We are going to do as much as we can for you, okay? One of the problems with weight loss, nutrition, things like that is that it's hard to do on your own. Even I, as a personal trainer in my past life, had trouble saying, okay, I'm going to go to the gym and work out today. I'm going to do this. I got home on a surge rotation, worked 14 hours a day, standing on my feet for six, eight hours. I don't feel like working out. But over years, I realized how important it is, how disciplined you have to be to do that. Okay, you guys are just starting, all right? Your baby's in this program. We're gonna do as much as we can do for you to get you through this and to keep you on after the program is done. So what is this based on, okay? We're a bunch of med students, you know, what do we know, right? We're learning, we're not quite medical doctors yet, we're not quite experts, so to speak. Well, we did know that we, we need to do research to put this thing together. We did know that previous weight loss programs don't work. We did know that diets don't work. We didn't know that bad things like high end pepper and honey and water don't work. Okay. <laughs> so we have to find out what does. The best place to go is the Surgeon General Healthy People 2010. We're going to tackle each one of these. Number one, promote the recognition of overweight and obesity as a, ma as a major public health problem. We did that through the health assessment. We're going to teach you guys on, on where, you, where you fall on this, in this spectrum of overweight, obesity, normal weight, etc. Resi uh, assist Americans in, in balancing healthful eating and regular physical activity. I'm in charge of physical activity and exercise. Casey's in charge of nutrition. Everybody else is around the whole global environment of exercise and nutrition. Tackle number two. Number three, identify effective and culturally appropriate interventions. To me, this is the most important one. We live in New Orleans, like Ryan said. We're not going to eat salad every day and, and land chicken breasts. It's just not going to happen. Okay? That's one of the strengths of our program. Dr. Gourmet, who you will meet later on, and KC, we're going to teach you how to make red beans and rice, teach you how to make gumbo, teach you how to make jambalaya in a healthy way that still tastes good. Okay? You're not going to take it out the oven or out the pie and say, oh, I don't know about this, it's a little soft. We're going to, make, we're going to, let you, we're going to, we're going to keep it as, as close to the real thing as possible without the extra fat, sodium, et cetera, in case you get into that. Number four, encourage environmental changes. So it's not just what you do, it's what you have in your refrigerator, it's what you have in your house, it's what you have available to you to tempt you to go back into that old lifestyle. Okay? That old lifestyle is done with. Okay? New lifestyle. It's not a diet, it's a lifestyle. From today on, you are you're becoming a changed person. Number five, develop and enhance private public partnerships. Private partnership, Tulane University School of Medicine, Don't Wait to Lose, Public Partnership, Tulane Community, Coydras, Franklin Avenue Baptist Church, etc. <coughs> We're gonna, we're gonna take the shotgun approach, okay? The best way to, to knock some things out in, in certain circumstances is to throw everything at it that you can, okay? And don't get me wrong, we're not gonna make this overwhelming, okay? We're gonna throw everything at you from our perspective. Things like that include body composition. We have the most accurate scales available. They made by Tanita, they, they uh, use dual, dual x-ray absorptiometry, um, body electrical impedance, all these other kind of, kind of measurements, which obviously no harm to you to measure your muscle mass, fat mass, and your right arm, left arm, left leg, right leg, your visceral fat, body water, your, your BMR, your metabolic age, all that kind of stuff, you're gonna get that tonight. Blood pressure you're getting done tonight. Fitness assessments. 
cardiovascular assessments, nutritional counseling, informational sessions, support groups, and the most important thing to me on this list is the individualized counseling for every participant. We have about 40 guys over here, 40 men and women over here in med school that are dedicated, they came to the training, they were here at 4.30, 4.45 today to get things, get things rolling for you guys, and we'll be here probably till 8.30, 9 o'clock. Okay, we didn't tell them that, so I'm thinking about it, right? <laughs> But, but seriously, they are your counselors. They are your trainers. Ryan and I, our executive board, are just monitoring the global things. These guys are here going to come through first. They're in charge of you. They'll answer your questions. If they don't know, they'll ask one of us. If we don't know, we'll ask one of our resources. In addition to all that on the first page, we have lectures on exercise, nutrition, arthritis, uh, stress management, and we added uh, this session uh, Chronic Disease Prevention with Dr. Ladeau, who's an excellent cardiologist in the city. There's a workout DVD available online. Uh, we're getting some, we're in the process of getting some printed now to give you guys, probably not next week, but the week after. Informational website we've been working on and continually improving. If you haven't visited that, please be sure to do so. We send out newsletters, uh, probably around bi-weekly newsletters. Right now during the session, we'll send them out every Monday, every Monday morning, Monday afternoon. Um, to remind you to come and give you a topic to read before you come. So be sure to do that. Um, as long as you have your email, you'll get it. If you're not getting these, new these newsletters, go to our website and you can sign up for the newsletters there. Uh, Healthy New Orleans Recipes, which is awesome. You're going to get a program manual starting next week with illustrations on exercise and information about all the topics that we're lecturing on. Your power pack, you got one part of it today, which was your pedometer and your step book. Next week, you'll get a uh, resistance band and the program manual, and we're also offering circuit exercise classes on our lecture nights, okay? So if you want to come to the lecture, stay for circuit exercise, that's great, okay? Now the main, the main, uh, our foundation of this program is based on doing less and getting the most out of it, okay? It's based on efficiency. I've seen throughout the years that a lot of people work out very inefficiently, and that's why you can't stick to it. One of the reasons why you can't stick to it. Less is more with our program. The mainstream recommendation for working, for working out, you might hear is five days a week, 45 minutes a day, 400 minutes a week, 390 minutes a week. That's a lot of time. I do not have 400 minutes a week to work out. Okay, I have too many other things to do. It's just not going to happen. Very few people can stick to that. So through our loads of research, we have, we have a binder this thick of all the research that we've done. We found a lot of research supporting 20 minutes of exercise, uh, in the cardiovascular aspect, 20 minutes of exercise and resistance training, which is weightlifting or resistance band use, modest dietary improvement. A study just came out last week by the New England Journal of Medicine, which Casey will tell you about um, a little bit later, but it's about caloric intake. Okay, on the nutrition side and the exercise side is about caloric intake. We we'll do a brief version. I'll talk about it more next week. But just to get in your minds now, calories in, calories out is weight loss. Okay. You eat it, you take in fewer calories, you burn fewer, more calories with exercise, you're going to lose weight. It's that simple. It's not any of this other stuff that you hear about on the radio, on the websites, anything like that. It's that simple. That simple equation can completely change your life, okay? We'll talk about that more next week. Through our research, we found that elderly people up to 96 years old could adhere to the program that we're recommending without any injuries. Not a single person in that program got injuries. They actually had the same increase in lean body mass as a, as a compare group. 20-year-old uh, men, okay? The 96-year-olds were, were gaining the same percentage of lean body mass as opposed to the 20-year-old group with, without any injuries. Uh, men and women can do it. College age and teens can do it. It's been shown to reduce your glycemic index if you're diabetic, okay? So if you're diabetic, this is going to help control your diabetes. It's also been shown to reduce the osteoporosis uh, risk in post